Am I the asshole for searching my husband's pants without asking him first? Context, my husband, 33, used to be unemployed for a year. He recently started a job at a warehouse. Yesterday, and while I was about to do the laundry, I grabbed his work pants and digged my hand into his pockets to empty them before putting it in the washing machine like I always do. My husband just happened to walk by, and when he saw me searching his pant pockets, he rushed in, yelling at me to put his pants down. I already had a folded piece of paper out, but he snatched it, then started screaming at me how I have no respect for his privacy and that I shouldn't be getting my hands on his things. I was genuinely dumbfounded. I told him to take it easy. I always do this before laundry. He lashed out saying I had no right and should have come to him and asked him first because he was worried about important documents getting lost like the one I pulled out. I said important documents shouldn't be inside his pockets and asked to see the paper, but he said he won't show me. I asked why, and he said I don't get to ask him jack shit after I disrespected his privacy. I almost laughed because what privacy does he have in his pockets? It wasn't like a stranger was digging into them. He refused to speak to me and later brought a new closet with a lock and moved his clothes inside of it. I asked if he was serious and he said that this will teach me to respect his privacy and deter my snooping. Then he went back to not speaking to me. I'm genuinely confused. Am I the asshole? Plus, it was just a one night stand and Mark felt very guilty for it. Am I the asshole for telling my best friend that she's partly to blame for why her boyfriend cheated on her? (sighs) I, 28 female, have a best friend, 28 female, let's call her Dana, who used to date this guy, 30 male, we'll call him Mark. They only started dating a little over two years ago, but I always considered them as relationship goals. Always acting so sweet around each other, with Mark being so caring and funny, I always thought Dana was very lucky to have him as her boyfriend. Ooh, ooh, starting this off, you really like the guy and the girl's supposed to be your best friend. Like, wow, she's so lucky. You're supposed to be like, no. He's lucky to have her, so you kind of like team Mark already. Yesterday, however, I got a phone call from a crying Dana telling me that she and Mark broke up after she found out that he cheated on her. I immediately rushed to her place to comfort her, still quite in disbelief that someone like Mark could do such a thing. When she finally calmed down, she told me that Mark confessed to having a one-night stand with one of his co-workers and he was too guilty to hide it from her. He tried reasoning with her, but she was having none of him and ended the relationship right there. As she should. Don't tell me you're trying to tell her to stay with the cheater. She then started talking about how that asshole tried to guilt trip her into staying with him by telling her that he only cheated because she was working all the time and felt emotionally neglected by her. And now, here's where I could be the asshole. I intervened and told her that maybe Mark has a point. She tends to be a little workaholic. She then glared at me and asked if I'm seriously taking his side. I said, I'm not taking any sides. I'm just saying that maybe you're partly to blame for the relationship problems that resulted in Mark. Plus, it was just a one-night stand and Mark felt very guilty for it. Oh my god, oh my god, you are not, you are not condemning his actions. Oh my god. Just a one-night, Mark feels very guilty for it, otherwise he wouldn't have confessed. So that means it's okay? This girl sounds like a pick-me girl. Pick me! Choose me, Mark. Love me. She then asked me if I think she should take him back and I told her that everyone makes mistakes and she shouldn't let just one moment of weakness destroy her entire relationship. She then told me that I'm unbelievable and told me to get out of her house. I was a bit taken aback by this, but I didn't want to cause any more drama, so I just left. I was waiting until today for her to calm down a bit before we talked again. But now I found out that I've been blocked by her everywhere. She was my best friend since high school, so of course I was very hurt to find out that she cut me off over an argument. While I don't condone what Mark did, I still think Dana is partly to blame for this mess and now it seems like she's taking it out on everyone else who doesn't agree with her, which I'm afraid might end up leaving her very lonely. Am I the ass? Oh my god. Yes, you piece of shit. Have you ever been cheated on? Then you can't talk. You literally can't talk. Well, he only cheated on you once and he feels really guilty. That's why he told you and you guys have like had such a good relationship so you should take it back. And then what happens the second time? If he loved what he had, moment of weakness in my ass. Don't give me that shit. Ugh. Get this pygmy girl out of here. My own friend convinced my husband that I cheated on him, he kicked me out of our house, and now she finally said she lied. I, 25 female, don't even know where to start because I'm devastated. She, 25 female, and I were best friends for over 10 years before this all happened. She was my sister, my friend, the person I trusted the most, but to her I was never anything. Because if I had meant something to her, she wouldn't have stabbed me in the back just because I married the man she wanted. And this is important because she did all this for that very reason. Eight years ago, we met my husband, 29 male, in college. We were in our first year, and he was the assistant to one of our professors. The three of us became very good friends until he and I started dating. At that time, she never told me that she had feelings for him, so I never questioned my relationship with him. During all these years, I trusted her with very important things about my husband and myself. The last thing was the most important that I ever told her, and that was that I'm pregnant. I even told her before I told my husband because I took the pregnancy test while I was with her because I trusted her with my whole life. 
When the test came back positive, we both cried because it was a planned baby. It seemed so happy that my chest hurts knowing that was all fake. Six months have passed since that day, and my husband started acting weird. He was always mad at me for absolutely no reason until I had enough and confronted him. He told me he's mad at me because he knows the truth. I asked him what he was talking about and he showed me all the infidelity evidence he has. There were chats from a dating app between a man and me and I used quotes because I never created that account. Someone else did and used my photos, photos that I had never posted and I only have on my phone. So it is impossible that someone has stolen them from my social media. In those chats, I told this man that I was pregnant and that I didn't know if it was his or my husband. In those chats, I even talked to that man about recent sexual encounters while I was pregnant and things that no husband or wife wants to read about their partner. I told my husband that everything was fake and that I wanted to know where he got those screenshots and he told me that they were screenshots off my old phone, a phone that I supposedly used to talk to other men. He told me that my best friend told him everything because she couldn't look at him in the eye without knowing the truth. Apparently, she knew about my infidelities and told him to look for evidence on my old phone, and he did, and that's why he was acting weird the last few weeks. First, I told him that my friend is lying, and she probably used my phone without me knowing to do that, that I never created my account, and that I never slept with another man other than him in my whole life, but he didn't believe me. We had a fight, and we called her to confront her, but all she said was that she was sorry, but that she no longer wanted to keep lying to one friend to save the other's ass. We had a horrible fight, but she was as calm as a fucking psycho, insisting that I'm a cheater. I couldn't convince my husband that it's all a lie because the evidence indicates that I'm guilty. So he was furious and told me to pack my stuff and get out, that he wanted a divorce and a paternity test. Am I the asshole for demanding my husband to pay me the $1,000 he spent behind my back? My husband, 33, and I, 31, used to have a two-income home, but in 2020, we've lost our home and one of our incomes. His. We moved into a smaller apartment, had to sell many things, and give up most of our costly habits. My husband has an expensive habit of going to the spa for a weekly massage session. We live in an urban area, so this stuff is ridiculously expensive. A single session is $250, and he has to have it every week, so that would be nearly $1,000 a month. I offered him to have his session at a regular spa, but no. He has to get it from that luxurious spa near the restaurant we used to go to, saying the lady who gives the massage is an expert, and he's used to her. Problem is, I'm the only income earner and I'm struggling to make ends meet. I'm also pregnant and need to save money to prepare a nursery. I told him to cut his sessions, but he refused. I told him I won't be paying for them anymore and he said he'd get the money himself. Yesterday, I checked and saw that he's been using my credit card for his sessions for a whole month and has maxed out completely. I found that out when I went shopping for baby essentials and the cashier said I had no money. I had to return everything, then went home and went off on him. I told him he maxed my card out and he made me look like an idiot at the store. He said he didn't tell me because he knew I'd have an issue with it. I demanded he pay me back the $1,000 he spent, but he refused. I yelled at him, calling him irresponsible, and he got upset and called me selfish and to stop playing victim, and that this is affecting us both since he's going to be a parent too, and it's stressful for him, and I keep dismissing his own needs as a human. I went upstairs, and he went out. He started giving me silent, but I kept demanding the money back. He said I shouldn't expect it back since we're married, and that my money is technically his and I should stop using his unemployment against him. I'm an asshole for telling my fiance that he ruined our vacation when he decided to take his kids. My fiance is 41 and he's divorced. He shares custody with his 11 year old and seven year old. We planned a vacation to a resort and I took care of all reservations and made payments. But first I had to make sure he's absolutely free on the date and he gave me the okay to go ahead and proceed with booking. Two days before the vacation, his ex calls him asking if he wants to have the kids after she got into an accident and broke her leg. He took them in immediately for the weekend and as soon as I saw them, I lost my temper on him. He said it was okay and that he could either take them with us or we could postpone it. I had a huge argument with him and he said that I was ruining the vacation by this reaction, but I told him that he ruined the vacation the minute he took the kids off his ex. I ended up going to stay with my friend after that and he's upset with my reaction saying I'm judging him by his circumstances and making him feel bad for wanting to make sure his kids were taken care of. This isn't the first time that he's done this and this isn't the first time that he caused me to cancel something and cost a lot of money and time off work as well so i'm just wondering am i the asshole for this i'm the asshole for telling my wife that leaving her used pad in my brother's place was inappropriate my wife and i were invited to my brother's 31st birthday but my wife and him don't always get a very long but they can be civil with each other so we went and we had dinner we talked and everything was going well no arguments till after my wife went to use the bathroom Later, my brother went to use the bathroom and then came back looking very upset. He kept giving my wife and I dirty looks. And I didn't know what was going on until he pulled me aside and told me that my wife had left her used pad in his bathroom. I was shocked and didn't know what to say, but this felt highly inappropriate. 
He said he didn't appreciate what my wife did and it was a sign of disrespect towards him. I apologized a lot and said I didn't know about it and he asked me to speak with her or she wouldn't be welcome at his place anymore. I got in the car and asked my wife about it and she just said that there's nothing wrong with it and that my brother was being ridiculous. I flipped out on her and told her it was very inappropriate and he shouldn't have left it in his place, even if it was in the bathroom and in the trash can. 